Okay, we'll call the meeting to order. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and the invocation of the ballot. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear God, please bless our elected officials. Grant them the wisdom to know and the courage to do what is right for all citizens. Amen. Amen. Roll call, please. Green? Here. LaFour? Here. Mistravich? Here. Ricks? Here. Roberts? Here. Schultz? Yar. Here. Jim gave me a call a couple hours ago and said he was under the weather. He wouldn't be able to make it tonight. If we could have a motion to uh, excuse him from tonight's meeting due to illness. So moved. Support. Support. It's been made and supported. Is there any discussion? Other than we hope he feels better <laughs> soon. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. We move on to the approval of minutes for the City Council meeting of April 6th. Is there a motion? So moved. Support. Motion has been made and supported. Um, it's been drawn to our attention that uh, we failed to excuse Dennis uh, from that particular meeting. Uh, for one reason or another, um, I would like to see that uh, put in the minutes uh, that we uh, will move him down to absent. And then what I would suggest, Mr. Mayor, is just put in there that uh, Dennis LaFour, Councilor LaFour's absence was excused. Okay. Uh, at, due to reasons for being out of time. Whatever legally yep. yes. be fine. Is that okay with yeah, you? Absolutely. You made the motion? Yes. Yeah. I should okay. have included that in the original motion. Okay. Yeah, he was going to be gone. Uh, yeah, we knew he, he was going to go on yep. and everything else, even though he was going down to Florida when we were all up here. I think we were just blocking that out of our <laughs> I think thoughts that's what it was. that he was in Florida. Yeah, yeah. 85 degrees, yeah. enjoying himself. Probably, what it was. That every Probably day had too. something to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, uh, any other uh, discussion on the minutes or the motion? Do you not? All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. We move on to... Audience comments on any non-agenda <coughs> items, if anybody would like to speak to council, we ask that you come to the podium, state your name and your address for the record. Would anybody like to address city council at this time? We will move on. Adoption of agenda. Mr. City Manager, any changes? No changes. City Council, any changes? Motion to accept the agenda as presented would be in order. So moved. Support. Motion to be made in support. Any discussion? Do you not? All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? The motion does pass. Is there a motion for the consent agenda? I move to accept the consent agenda as presented. Support. Motion's been made and supported. There's no discussion on the motion. All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? The motion does pass. We move on to the five items that we have before us tonight for consideration. The first one being consideration of confirming the appointment of the city assessor. Mr. City Manager. Council is scheduled to consider confirming the city manager's appointment of the city assessor in accordance with section 7.3A of the city charter. Uh, the city manager formed an assessor selection committee in November of this year uh, that had uh, the city manager, two members of the administration, uh, Mayor Ricks and Councilor Green uh, served on that committee. Uh, we interviewed uh, four candidates for the position. In my recommendation, I made a uh, tentative offer of employment to Colleen Cargo, uh, who accepted that. Uh, Council has previously received that offer and uh, her resume and application. And I would ask that you confirm the appointment. Thank you. Thank you. Is there a motion? I make a motion to approve and confirm the city manager's appointment of Colleen Cargo to the position of city assessor in accordance with section 7.3A of the city charter for an infinite term to serve at the pleasure of the city manager. Support. What's been made and support? You get to come up and get on microphone for the very <coughs> first time, Colleen. <laughs> we don't let our department directors go too far without being online. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, good evening, everyone. I am, I am married. I live in Birchville Township. I've been in assessing for about uh, five years now. I have a background in real estate, so I do have uh, 13 years in uh, real estate, which would help me in this position. And uh, I thank you so much for your consideration. I really look forward to working with everyone. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Is there any questions? Thank you very much. Thank you. 
any comments? Yes, Mr. Mayor. Go right ahead. Definitely welcome, Colleen. It's a, kind of a changing of the guard with our DPS director, our assessor, our treasurer, um, a lot of new faces. I want to thank uh, Mayor Ricks and Councilor Green for serving on this and uh, um, going through this really a lengthy selection process. Have a lot of inverters to do. It was lengthy. Yeah. yeah. No, I think we got a great candidate in Colleen. Um, works with Missy Hey Duke up at Fort Gratiot. Uh, former employee. Um, came highly recommended. Uh, our assessor, Lynn Houston, uh, highly recommended her also. So um, she had two, two things, two good things going for it right there uh, as far as uh, we considered. So uh, we're happy that she's accepted uh, John's offer and I uh, hope she's here for a long time. Like our previous assessor, 28 years? 28 years. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, any other discussion? Any audience com uh, uh, comments on this item? Back to the table. All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Again, welcome. Item number two is consideration of request to keep chickens at 68274 Mary Street. Mr. City Manager. Council is scheduled to consider a petition from Donald and Andrea Miller to keep three egg laying chickens on property located at 68274 Mary Street. The property in question uh, is the fourth house south of Dow. And the properties to the north, south, and west are developed as single family residents. And the property to the east is the Rosewood Condominium Complex. Uh, the subject property is 0 0.32 acres in area, uh, and the uh, depth of the property is 234 feet, uh, and it's 60 feet wide. Uh, the <coughs> homes in that area along uh, Mary, their backyards go all the way back through to Seymour Street. Uh, as part of our um, process that we've been going through recently when uh, we've had requests for uh, chickens is that we notify all of the adjacent property owners. So there were five uh, property owners that were notified uh, of this request. We did receive one phone call and one email uh, from that mailing so far, and uh, both were uh, in favor of the chickens. Uh, Troy's worked with them and, and provided some maps on, on the layout, uh, and those are in your packet for your consideration. Under the ordinance, uh, Poultry and, and livestock are not allowed, subject to uh, approval of the city council. Very good. Thank you. Before discussion, is there a motion? I move to approve the petition from Donald Andrea Miller to keep up to three Plymouth Rock chickens on the property, subject to the following conditions. The three chickens allowed will be female Plymouth Rock chickens. No roosters shall be allowed. The applicant has granted a one-year trial period at the end of which the applicant will need to come back before council for approval to keep the chickens and the applicant shall be limited to a maximum 10 feet by 10 feet outdoor pen area that shall be enclosed by a maximum four foot tall fence. Support. It's been made and supported. Is there any discussion? <coughs> I just was wondering, is that lot splittable? Or is that one of the lots that's not? No. On Seymour Street? Yeah. Um, it's not. All of those lots that are currently straight through are not allowed to uh, split, split because the maximum depth for R3 is 120 feet and that block is um, 220 feet deep. Okay. So if you split it, you'd be creating a 100 by 60 lot instead of a 120 by 60, which is the minimum allowed for R3. Okay. Um, Troy, well, we've got you up there. Sure. Um, 10 by 10 pen? Uh, the reason for that is uh, in my discussion with the applicant, he was looking at either a 3 by 6 or a 4 by 8. So I felt going up to a 10 by 10 <coughs> would allow him a certain amount of flexibility to get the pen size that he wants. Mm -hmm. Also, it was the pen size that we allowed on the previous requests so up at wondering. Madison and BB. Okay. Um, my issue is, is that it would be too small, and if that's what we've done in the past, then that's fine. But when wouldn't want it to be too small. Sure. Where it's not humane for the chicken. <coughs> okay. Any other discussion? Questions? Comments? Are we going to hear from 
Anybody first? Is the applicant here? You want to hear from the applicant? I would like to hear from the applicant. Well, I, okay. have, I guess I have questions. Um, of the applicant or? Yes. Okay, then uh, when, we're, when we're done here, okay. then we would go to the audience. Yeah, well, that, okay. I'm just telling you that I, okay. I have some items to discuss, but I would like to hear from her first. First, okay. Is everybody else done? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Could we have you come up? Introduce yourself and your address. Uh, my name is Andrea Miller. I live at 68274 Mary Street. Questions? My question is, is do you plan on putting um, a structure on your property for like protection? Yes, they'll have a, a, a house to have in and then an enclosed yard within the chicken coop. Now, in your, how big will your house be? Um, we're looking at like a... Uh, my husband knows more about this than I do, but I want to say like three by five ish. Three by five. And do you plan on putting a solid roof with shingles on top? Um, yeah. On top on top of the uh, on coop top part. Of the coop. Yeah. And will all four sides be enclosed within an opening for it? Yeah. Okay. That was my question. Okay. Anybody else have any questions? Yeah. This um, what kind of safeguards for uh, you know, wild animals digging underneath? Are you going to go down so deep? Probably, uh, yeah. Um, I, we talked about maybe um, <clears throat> just putting a cement slab on the bottom or some wood or something or having a fence go down deeper so that um, animals can't dig under. Also, the um, coop part will be kind of raised up off the ground about uh, one or two feet so to inhibit anything from going in and, and during the night when they're roosting. Yep, that was some of the past experiences they've uh, yeah. <laughs> had to pull a lot of safeguards. <laughs> yep. uh, to keep them from coming in there so and that's always one of the big concerns is uh wild animals yeah. coming in in the town and uh, you know interrupting uh you know the daily life of the the pets in the area um so uh so far we haven't had any issues that i know of mm -hmm. um, but most of the coops have been towards the outskirts of the town uh, not uh, you know towards the, the middle of town like this one so uh, yeah. then keeping it clean yeah. <laughs> you know, there is a smell attributed right. to the chickens. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, you know, three chickens, uh, as long as you keep it clean, I'm sure your neighbors will let us know if it's not. So, yeah. <laughs> um, it's with great hesitation that I uh, will approve this. Uh, previously, I, I'm not in favor of having farm animals in the city limits, but, uh, and the law has changed. Their, their Right to Farm Act does not cover this any longer. The, the law has changed on that. Um, I think before our hands may have been a little bit tied, but. It seems to be something that uh, is coming back around, so um, I will uh, go along with council as I have previously. Um, but just keep it clean if you would, and, yeah. and I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will. Anything else? I think just with uh, only having uh, three chickens, I think that's being responsible. Yeah, they're doing it for the eggs, I'm sure. Right. Um, yeah. So they're not trying to raise right you know, numerous yeah. chickens. And, yeah, no, that's good. Okay, thank you. thank you. Anybody else like to respond to this? Yes, sir. Your name and address, please, for the clerk. Uh, my name's Aaron Piper, address 68280 Mary, uh, one house north of Andrea. Just wanted to voice my support for them. Uh, okay. As soon as I found out, let them know that fully support putting them wherever they need to to make it work for them. So. Are you getting eggs out of this? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe. I don't know. You might now. Yeah. <laughs> Is this a fluent in your opinion? <laughs> yeah. An egg commitment? Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you for coming tonight. Not Appreciate problem. it. Anybody else like to address this? Okay. Back to the table. I just, oh, go oh, Mr. Mayor, I just think this is very responsible of them to come and before us. And the having three chickens, I think, is uh, very adequate. We've approved other ones that had more like, you know, six in a similar area. Yeah. So I think this is uh, this is very, very good. Good, good. Jamie, you had something? I do have something. And um, just so you know where I'm coming from is I, I don't approve of chickens in the city. and um, But I see it's a trend that I don't think I'm going to be able to stop. <laughs> so with that, though, I would like to make, and now she fulfilled the requirements, but in the past I have driven by um, ones that we have approved and I tarp is just I, I don't think would be acceptable for they I believe they need to have four sides of a coop with a roof 
that ha is shingled and I brought some you guys some samples of kind of what I was thinking that it would look more acceptable and the one on Ridgewood does have this and their coop is very mm -hmm. nicely kept and they they do a great job at taking care of it so um, I guess if we're going to start approving these, and I know we have another one coming, I would like us that we have our three requirements, but I would like to have a physical building that they are kept in and that no tarps will be allowed because it 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 just looks horrible. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't think it's even safe for the animals. And then there, I've seen lights outside, and I know that we've had barns go completely burned down because of that, so I'm, I'm a little bit concerned. And when I see wires going across um, backyards because of that that is another concern that I have as well so if we are going to continue to approve this I would like to have um, a little bit more of a guideline okay. that from you guys is there uh, I would ask your planner again John are there guidelines for this set up uh, yes there are multiple communities in the state of Michigan that do have ordinances that directly relate to uh, the keeping of poultry and uh, certainly we might we could find out which which ordinances would work best for and us. what's enforceable yes uh, and just a point of clarification the applicant um, when I did speak to them they are getting a kit from I believe like tractor supply so it comes with the run and the coop all in one type of enclosure and then and then they had different sizes of three by five or four by eight because I think also sometimes if we get into setting some standards we'll need to clarify uh, I, th I think sometimes there's we, we all talk about different things maybe and use different terminology I think the coop Sometimes we talk about is the building that they're in, but then the pen around it, that 10 by 10 area. Um, I think the one on BB, the tarps are over the pen, but there is an actual structure that they go in. Yeah. Um, so it's, I think the tarps are on the pen. And so for instance, you asked if there was a coop that had a solid roof, there is, and there is on, on Madison, it's the pen that they stretch the tarps over. Well, why would they stretch tarps over it if they're- to Provide shade. To provide, yeah, shade. provide shade. So that yeah. may have been there. So, if, there and I have water. no problem stating in the future if council wants to have the condition that they can't use tarps, no problem. <clears throat> Let's just make sure uh, in the future we know which we're referring to. Why don't we, uh, if council's in agreement uh, with Jamie's uh, thoughts, we could just ask you guys sure. to look into it for us. Absolutely. So I know what uh, yep. is going on. We're seeing more and more of this. And like you said, you know of another one that's coming. So. Um, let's take a look. Also, I would uh, I would wonder if we haven't uh, uh, gotten around to the year yet on any of those that we said had to come back to City Council. Uh, the one on BB will be coming back in like September. Uh, the one on Diane already did. What about the one Karen? on uh, Karen Street with the ducks? Uh, they they no longer moved moved. out. They no oh, they moved out. out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So those okay. Aren't yeah. okay. Very good. Okay. So is that? Yeah, good with council. Take a look and see what other communities have done. And I mean, there's uh, definitely a trend forming, and it'd be worth <coughs> it. mm -hmm. being yeah. prepared for that. Make sure we're on top of it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else, uh, Mr. Mayor? Just a little bit of uh, administrative. This is becoming more administrative work, right? Like when the year's up, I mean, the applicant is supposed to come back, but I'm sure that they're not necessarily going to remember that they have to come back. So. Mm -hmm. How are we going to? We do. We, we do. Okay. Yeah. You put it on a calendar and make sure that we. Yep, I know. Uh, for instance, on the one on, and I'm going to get the, it's not Diane, that's. Uh, oh, uh, Richwood. Richwood, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, we did bring them back. I think mm -hmm. the ducks we may have missed, but they were gone by the yeah. time we remembered them. Okay. But we've this one, yeah. the talked one about the one on BB that, that needs to come back in September. And the one on Pound, I don't know that we ever made any stipulation there. Did that we? was prior to us kind of really yeah. looking into yeah. that. And I think that was one. We're out was, in the woods. Right. And, yeah. yeah. So I don't believe they had a year termination yeah. or okay. a year where they needed to come back. And that had the prior use there. Wasn't yeah. There? Yeah. There, there had been a prior. Yeah. Your kind of grandfather. <laughs> yeah. So to speak. Okay. Anything else? If not, all in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. Aye. 
Aye. Aye. Aye. Against? Aye. Nay. Motion passes. Okay. Good luck with your chickens. Okay, we're moving on. Item number three is consideration of resignation of city board commissions. Mr. City Manager. Council is being asked to consider approving the resignation we have received from Mark Zink from the BZA and from Dean Roberts from the Planning Commission. Uh, Mark Zink sub submitted his resignation from the Board of Zoning Appeals and has submitted his application for Council's consideration later tonight for appointment to the Planning Commission. And with the appointment of uh, Councilor Dean Roberts to the City Council, uh, the bylaws of the Planning Commission uh, require that he resign from the Planning Commission. Very good, thank you. Is there a motion? Move to accept the resignation of Mark Singh from the Board of Zoning Appeals as an alternate. Support. What's been made in support? Any discussion? Appreciate his service there. Anything from the audience on this? Back to the table. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion passes. We also have the resignation of uh, Dean from the Planning Commission. Is there a motion? Motion to accept the resignation of Dean Roberts from the Planning Commission. Support. Support. Motion to be made and supported. Discussion? Thank you for service. Awesome. Yep. And you let the public know that he had to uh, resign uh, because of his uh, being on the uh, city council, being appointed to the city council now. Um, so we appreciate that. Miss you at the meetings, Dean. Yeah. Wait, you can still attend. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's yeah, I mean, he he yes, 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 yes. moral support. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Any audience participation on this item? Being not, all, all in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. We go to item number four, consideration of board appointments. Being we've had some people that have uh, uh, had to resign <laughs> and other people who uh, are stepping up. Um, did you have anything to add to that, Mr. Seaman? Just that you have before you uh, vacancies to fill in the Planning Commission, Recreation Board, TIFA, and BZA. Planning Commission is a mayoral appointment subject to the confirmation of council. Recreation Board is council. TIFA is mayoral, subject to council confirmation, and then the Board of Zoning Appeals, that is the uh, seat that we had filled with uh, Councilor Goodar, uh, with his resignation and our acceptance of that resignation at the last meeting. There's a uh, vacancy on the BZA that can be filled by one of the council members. Okay. Um, for clarification, um, we are allowed to change the uh, term dates I, I'm sorry I didn't write that in on my I'm sorry uh, yes the sheet. the tax increment finance authority um, we normally uh, have four-year terms yes uh, this one would be and you're allowed to appoint somebody for a two three one two three or four-year term okay this particular term has like a couple months and we can either um, what month is it that it ends, Karen? June. June. So you either have to <clears throat> appoint him for the remainder of this term, which would be June 2015, and mm -hmm. then he would reapply, okay. uh, or that person would be then able eligible to reapply, or you can change the the length of that term and appoint him for a, like a two-year or three-year term, including that two months. You can't do the four years because you can't go beyond four. Um, so. One of the thoughts was just, well, instead of it being 2015, make it 2019, but that would actually be a four-year yeah. and a couple months appointment, and that would violate the act. So you could do 2018, and you wouldn't have to have that person turn around and come right back. Okay. And same thing with the Planning Commission. Uh, that's not a uh, filling a... Uh, I mean, it is for filling a, a vacancy, but... Um, is there a sp specific time? There's two. That's what it is. There's two There's vacancies two there, right now so that you we can have pick on either one, either, either 15, 15 or 16. Or 16. Yep. I, I see. Okay. Yeah. I was just trying to get with with Tifa. We were trying to get away from having to reappoint that person in a couple months. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Was the only and and certainly you can fill fill that person with 
the remainder term. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I guess for uh, to clarify, um, those that are mayor's appointments, uh, in, I empowered mm -hmm. to say the date. I would suggest that you say the date, and okay. if council is comfortable with that, then they would confirm. Okay. Very good. Okay. Everybody on board here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. This is a little different than anything we've ever done before. Okay. I would ask uh, the council to confirm uh, the appointment of Mark Zink to the Planning Commission with an expiration of June 30th, 2016. Is there a motion? I move to confirm the appointment, excuse me, confirm the mayor's appointment of Mark Zink to the Planning Commission to fill a vacant term with an expiration date of June 30th, 2016. Support. What's been made and support? Any discussion? Yes. Go ahead. I appreciate uh, Mark applying for planning. I know that he has experience in other communities on planning. Um, he very nicely went into BZA as an opportunity to get his feet wet. But I think ultimately he wanted to get to planning for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't forget about that. Yeah, so it'd be yeah. nice. <laughs> just appreciate that he, yeah. you know, the, brought, yeah. bringing his experience, yeah, previous absolutely. experience to that. I think a number of years on school board also mm -hmm. in was it St. Clair Shores or uh, yeah, Clair Shores. Harper Woods? Harper Woods. Harper Woods. Yeah. Harper Woods. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then a number of years on the Planning Commission also. So he's coming with uh, quite a bit of experience. It'd be interesting to have him on the Planning Commission. Um, okay. Any other discussion? Any audience comments? Being that, all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion passes. We also have the uh, motion is needed to uh, reappoint Sue Keel. Is there a motion? I make a motion to reappoint Susan Keel to the Recreation Board for a two year term at an expiration date of 331 2017. Second. Must have been made and seconded. Any discussion? Thank Sue's done a very nice yes, job. She is fantastic. She's like the model citizen and perfect for this board. Yeah. She comes with great ideas. Yeah, I'm glad to see she came back again. Okay, any audience participation on this item? Back to the table. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. I ask that you confirm uh, my appointment of Dennis uh, LaFord to the TIFA to fill a vacant term with expiration date of June 30th, 2018. Is there a motion to that effect? I'll make a motion to confirm the mayor's appointment of Dennis LaFleur to the Tax Increment Finance Authority to fill a vacant term with an expiration date of June 30th, 2018. Support. Motion's been made and supported. Discussion? Appreciate Dennis stepping up and taking that spot that opened when uh, Jeff, Jeff uh, resigned here. The question, did yep. he really want all the way to 2018? Or <laughs> <laughs> He's getting it. I, I was going to ask him. <laughs> like an auctioneer, 2016, 2017, yeah. what do you want? <laughs> Not only that, but I have his Wednesday packet waiting in the wings. <laughs> for, Starting uh, here. He had uh, indicated to me before that if there was ever an opening um, that he'd uh, like to serve on that board. The fact that we had um, a councilman on that board, I like the idea of that. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, I talked to him about it and he said, sure, he'd jump on board. So um, I'm happy he is and uh, he is, uh, works in town here uh, for the most part. Yep. Um, he is on the road a bit, but uh, he is employed here. So that, I think that will help also um, with his role on the TIFA. Any other comments? Any comments from the audience? Back to the table. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? <laughs> motion passes. We have uh, an appointment uh, for the Board of Zoning Appeals. <coughs> Is there a motion? Okay. Make a motion to appoint Mike Mastrovitz to the vacant term on the Board of Zoning Appeals as Council Representative with the expiration date of December 31st, 2015. Support. Support. It's been made and supported. Discussion? Again, that was uh, that was another one of Jeff's uh, positions, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, appreciate Michael jumping up on that and uh, handling it. That's a fairly new uh, position, also. 
Um, when, couldn't current, that uh, law came in effect just a couple of years ago, maybe? We realized that we could, uh, in reviewing getting quorums for that board, we had a seven member board and we were allowed under the Zoning Enabling Act to uh, reduce that board from seven to five members mm -hmm. and that the language also allowed for a council representative on that board. Okay. That's so that was, I think, just this past year. Past uh, year? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you stepping up to do that, Michael. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, looking forward to doing it. something I've been interested in for a while. So thank you. Very good. Any audience comments on this item? Back to the table. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. We thank all of those people for stepping up and <clears throat> taking on the added responsibility. All right, we go to our final item, item number five, consideration of formation of the city manager, city manager evaluation committee. Mr. City Manager. Council is scheduled to consider establishing the ad hoc city manager review committee. The last committee uh, was established on March 17th, 2014. I became acting manager in 2005 and city manager in uh, November of 2005 and city manager in March of uh, 2000. Six, sorry. Uh, the previous review committee was Councilor Schultz, uh, Goodar, and Yark. Okay. Um, if Council would suspend the rules for a moment so we can find out who would like to serve on this committee. Uh, Mr. Goodar is, uh, you know, as we know, has resigned. Um, can't speak for Jimmy, but he's done it for a number of years, and it's his last year on council, so I think he should do it again. <laughs> I don't think, if you don't show up at the meeting, yeah. you're automatically. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Do you still want to do it, John? Yeah, I'd like to continue. Okay. Working. And is there anybody else that would like to serve on it? I'll do it. You want to do it? Sure. Okay. Okay. All right. Is there a motion? I make a motion to establish the Ad Hoc City Manager Review Committee for the purposes of coordinating the annual performance evaluation for the City Manager and reviewing the City Manager's employment agreement and making recommendations to the City Council on changes in the compensation package provided to the City Manager with the committee to expire on June 30th, 2015 with the following counselors appointed to serve on the committee, Councilor Schultz, Councilor Four, and Councilor Yark. Must be made and supported. Any discussion? Appreciate you guys stepping up and doing that. Maybe Jimmy will see it on YouTube and realize that he. <laughs> <laughs> sick or not, you should come to the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> That's your punishment. No, he served on that committee. Yeah. Yes, it's probably been. since UK. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, um, no, it's, it's good to have consistency there, also. But I think we also have finally gotten. The evaluation form really worked out to, and fine tuned it, so hopefully it'll be yeah. quicker now. Yeah. Well, before long, we'll get this in a scantron and yeah. it'll be <laughs> through. It's just amazing how easy to write zero. So. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it easier to add up. Were you going to use this opportunity being on the on the committee? You guys might want to say if anybody has any complaints about the same yeah. manager, bring them forth. Bring them forth. <laughs> <laughs> We've never done that before, have we? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any other discussion on the motion? Any audience participation on this item? Back to the table. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Can we thank you? Moving on to city manager's comments, sir. I'd uh, just like to thank the Chamber <coughs> of Commerce for putting on the elected officials forum. Uh, once again, a very nice event in our community. Uh, that was last Friday. Uh, also, or Friday before, I guess, I'm sorry. Uh, the budget packet for Monday's meeting will be going out at the end of the week, and then the packet for Thursday's meeting will be provided at Monday's budget meeting. Uh, and we are doing a lot of updating to our website, uh, name changes and uh, personnel changes like that. I know uh, I did some work with uh, Councilor Roberts uh, earlier tonight so it's a good time just to kind of take a look at your pages if there's things you want changed uh, you know if some of the biographical information has changed please let us know and then we'll uh, get that updated very good thank you Dan. moving on to council comments michael um just i did enjoy the uh, elective forum 
event that was really good, uh, getting bigger every year. So it was very, very good to see all the elected officials at the county level and at all the different municipalities being there as well. So I enjoyed that as well. Very good. Jeffrey. I concur. It, the only disappointment is that it's only once a year, and actually there was an opportunity for the business community and, and the elected to talk, but it was a great opportunity for the elected to talk to other elected that we don't often get to see mm -hmm. and talk about what's going on in the area. That was definitely a positive. Uh, the other thing I think uh, pretty much uh, we need to remember that May 5th to go out and vote for a proposal either for or against, but to come out and vote is uh, important have your voices heard on the uh, the issue of proposal 15 one mm -hmm. okay Dennis um, uh, other than uh, had a great trip and uh, thanks for the excuse uh, not being here that you guys noticed so. you may not get another one <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay mr. Roberts uh, I'd just like to thank council for approving me and uh, hopefully I can do the job well I'm sure you will Sure you will. Jamie? Um, I just have one thing. Well, uh, the elected officials forum was fantastic. And the historical, um, the historical baseball team, the Bees, will be having an open practice on Saturday at 1 o'clock, and we will be kicking off our season very soon. And also this Saturday it is opening day for the Richmond Little League as well. So we yeah. have fantastic, great stuff going on in the park this weekend. Yeah, very, very busy. Okay, no Jimmy. Uh, <laughs> All right, we'll go to the calendar, today being the 20th of April. Uh, we have a TIFA meeting on the 22nd, this Wednesday at 7 o'clock here at City Hall. A week from tonight, we'll mark our first budget workshop on the 27th here at City Hall at 5.30 p.m. On the 30th will be the second budget workshop, which will also start at 5.30 p.m. here at City Hall. And believe it or not, it takes us right into May. Um, we our next regular scheduled council meeting will be on the 4th at 7 o'clock here at City Hall the Recreation Board uh, will meet on the 5th at 7 o'clock I believe they're meeting here are they not or are those permanently now moved over to the permanently library? to the library they are permanently to the library now okay so on the 5th the Recreation Board will meet at 7 o'clock at the Lois Wagner Memorial Library and we have another budget workshop on the 7th uh, at 5.30 here at City Hall. That's also a National Day of Prayer in front of City Hall. This is May 7th, and that will begin at approximately noon? 12.20 to 12.40 outside in front of City Hall. And then after that, they'll move inside for a pizza luncheon sponsored by the Rotary. Okay, very good. So that is on May 7th <laughs> at 12.20 is the National Day of Prayer. Um, Mother's Day, of course, is on the 10th, and that takes us to the 11th uh, of May, which is uh, scheduled to be our last budget meeting at 5.30 right here at City Hall. Uh, reminder, Memorial uh, Day services, uh, uh, the parade will start at 10 o'clock on the 25th, uh, Memorial Day itself, and we'll uh, parade down to the Richmond Cemetery. Uh, where there will be a service down there also and that is on the 25th and there is a uh, the uh, parks and recreation will hold their annual perennial exchange at the bb street park normally held under the pavilion on the 23rd of may that's always a popular thing and i believe that is it for now is there anything else we need to add to the calendar i don't think so Okay, uh, moving on. Is there any other business of the City Council this evening? Being that, a motion to adjourn would be in order. Make a motion to adjourn. Support. All in favor say aye. 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 Against? Motion passed. Thanks for being with us.